Alright, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. So, we're at 97%. Holy moly, we've played for 40 hours, 35 minutes. That's nuts. And we're back in Dirtmouth. We followed the mushroom around last stream, which gave us absolutely nothing, which is very dumb. I think today we're heading back to the arena to attempt it again. Because I don't really know where else I could go. Hey, blah, blah. You should definitely pay attention to me. Nope. Not happening. Alright, dude. Take me to... Keen Station. The mines is the best bet for ore. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'll try I'll try looking around the mines. Let me pull up the map. Cause uh was there like a dead end somewhere in there that it looked like I could explore? Possibly. Maybe not. Oh wait, no, there is see that near the bench? Right up there. Okay. That's right, the Crystal Peaks are so close by to Dirtmouth. Also, before I go, I really should equip the uh, compass again. Because... I get lost. Alright, what else? Keen Soul could be alright, but I think it's a little unnecessary. Oh, I like the Mark of Pride, that's a good one. And we'll get quick focus. Yeah, um, yeah. Actually, you're right. Spider friends. Spider friends for life. And... I got a pretty good one value one recently, didn't I? Or is it just... I mean, steady bodies are actually. Yeah, steady bodies probably the best bet. Spider friends, spider friends, let's go find some pale ore. See you, spider friends. Don't worry, they warp back up. I'm sure they're fine. Well, that's what happens when it's a blind. Let's play! <laughs> That was very close. Oh, yes. Super Grover. This area is so pretty as well. All right. Oh, we're even pretty close by. It's amazing how fast we can go when we super dash. Now that's not very nice. I may have, I don't remember. I've been playing Hollow Knight for so long. Wait, have I seriously not been up here? Really? Wait, was this a boss fight that I never beat? Oh! This is a boss fight that I never beat. Or maybe I... No, I've just never been here. Alright, well... Change of plans, change of plans. Gotta get quick slash. Faux show. Sure. Oh, that's right. Sharp Shadow is the cheap one that we got. It's not value one, but it is close. I like quick focus. Let's try this. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. He is angry. He's salty. Not as salty as the bonus boss from the Cuphead DLC, but...
Ouch. Ouch. Okay, he has more HP than I expected. I fought a guy similar to this. Uh, how much does the low HP thing take? Two, just two? Can't pass up a deal like this. Um... Baller shell. Baller shell will be useful. I woke him up on the bench. That... You gotta jump, like, if you're slashing when he does that. Oof. There we go! <laughs> How beautiful. Oh, it's another Mask Fragment, so that wasn't even the Pale War. That was literally just... Alright. Smell you later. Gotta get the compass, gotta get the spider friends. Explore that tiny little area. It looks like there's some ways to go up at the top, but I swear I tried that and there was just nothing there. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Mobius, welcome. Well, why do I come to the arena is a uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion <laughs> meme. That game has perfect NPC dialogue. <laughs> the the annoying thing is I can't remember where I got the pale ore that I do have. So if if you want to ask me like, oh, where did you get the other pale? The answer is I don't know. Oh man, I love how long my nail is. You know what I think you should do? I think if you play... Okay, yeah. Wait. For some reason I can wall jump up this, but not up that up. Okay. So I cannot go up there. I have to go up. I do... I No, no, no. I have not played Elder Scrolls Oblivion, but I'm still aware of the meme. I am... I do not play Elder Scrolls, but I do follow memes. Yeah, I forgot the enemies in this world just have lasers. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get up higher here. Because all of the ways to go up, it's like you have to fall from above. Oh, do 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 do. Ha ha ha! Funny joke. <laughs> That's funny, Garf. Again, I feel like I feel like it would make sense if there's a move where you dash up. Why do we just occasionally get the alert that like, oh, your ex-wife is watching you? It's like, that's creepy. I don't need her to do that. I love how strong I am. Ouch. I did beat the second Coliseum challenge. I'm on the third one.
Yeah, that one is definitely ruled out. It might be, like, a generic chest that, like, I passed by and just didn't open. That's entirely possible. Or if there's one in a house somewhere. Uh, I'm just on the lookout to see if there's a secret passageway that I missed. Or maybe something I can break with my, like, downward dash move. Wood. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Coliseum just gives money and bragging rights? That's a bit disappointing. Wow, spider friends, way to go. Mines, Ancient Basin, and Deep Nest. Uh, I've gotten two pieces of Pale Ore before, and I have two more pieces of Pale Ore now. Are there only four pieces of Pale Ore in the game? Could I have gotten the Nail Upgrade ages ago and I just didn't because I thought I needed three pieces? I definitely got two pieces of Pale Ore before then. Okay, so that will be... That's weird. So that leads down that way, but there's no map that updates for that. Alright, well I'm going back, because maybe if I Super Grover Dash, I can find another secret area. Ouch. You baloney breath, how dare you. Yeah, you need free for the last upgrade. That's what I seem to remember. So there should be five pieces of pale ore in the uh, in the game, unless there's even more after the upgrade that I would get. Wait a second. I wonder if this is the birthing place. Because I don't really remember this being used for anything. I just kind of have my way blocked here. Button... It's... No... Seems to be an impassable object. Remember, light. Okay, done. So if I super grower dash, is there anything over here? Okay, and then that leads all the way back here, which is weird because it doesn't mark on the map that that's where it takes you. Very strange. Oh, no, oh don't worry about it. I appreciate you trying to help. Oh no, I got hit.
Yeah, that doesn't update, which is really dumb. So it looks like I've been everywhere in the Crystal Mines. Um... There may be something over in the left side of Deep Nest. Let's try to see if there are any more dead ends that we can find on the map. Otherwise, I'm going back to the Coliseum of Fools. Nothing more on the Halloween glyphs, that's for sure. Proxima has... To, I believe he's asleep. Because he had his programming course and he was awake for like 29 hours straight. Which is not healthy. So I hope he's getting a good night's sleep. takes us near a train station. <laughs> yes, it's up it's up to you. <laughs> Unless Nintendo Addict Symptoms are us or Mobius played the whole game <laughs> off stream. Ouch. Hey, don't bring me back this far. Ow, my butt! First my chest, and now my butt. Whew! Did you play this entire game since last time, Mobius? If so, you, you can help out as well. I just assumed that you hadn't. I remember that spike. I remember that spiked roof. It's hit me too many times. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. Beepy. I wish there was more stuff to do in the Soul Sanctum. If I, I must be frank. The Soul Sanctum was one of my favorite looking and sounding places in the game, and you only go there for one part, and you just fight a bunch of teleporting McGees who are really annoying. Ah, interesting. Alright. <laughs> Why do I come to the arena? <laughs> Honestly, I love the way the combatants move. Yay! <laughs> Man, there are a lot of combatants that are just dying. Get good. That's right, I've heard Ori in the Blind Forest is really good. So many games I've heard that are really good, but I just... I'm not making the time to play them. <laughs> oh, 
Hacha! Do I consider streaming Dark Souls? Um, I'm not opposed to it, but again, you've seen the list of games that I plan on streaming, and it grows longer by the day. And some of those games are huge, by the way. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, that's going to be like a half a year thing. At least. Welcome back, warrior! Okay, well, before I step in the trial... First, I want to take a bath. Actually, no, I don't need to take a bath. I just need to sit on the bench. This game is huge, too. This game is way bigger than I thought, but Tactics Advance is even bigger. Especially if you want to get everything. All right. No compass. No, none of them. Okay. So what do we really want in the arena? Definitely the compass. That's a gotta have. I like... I like Quick Slash, but is it necessary? Let's try Quick Slash and Steady Body together. This should make us ridiculously powerful. And then maybe the Mark of Pride? I know I don't... I... Let's try that. With all of our upgrades, I think this should be a ridiculously effective combo. Alright. The Trial of Fool. Fight for Geo and the glory of being a fool. I guess it depends on what you want to do in Final Fantasy Tax Tactics Advance. If you only care about beating the main story, then it's not too long. But if you want to clear all the missions and get all the items, then it's going to take you hundreds of hours. They're laughing at me. They're like, the idea of trying to beat Kid Tactics Advance in a, a short time. That's strange. I def okay, I feel like I should be killing these guys more quickly. How come I didn't hit him? Oh. There were spikes at the bottom that were coming. Okay, yeah, maybe I maybe this is going to be harder than I thought. May as well take this opportunity to do a little bit of healing. not have a million kamikaze bats? Oh. This is new. They don't seem too bad. Spoke too soon. Seems to be going pretty well. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wow. It's centipedes. <gasps> I'm assuming there are still spikes on the air. Yeah. Spikes on the ground. Spikes on the ground. Looking like a fool with those spikes on the ground. Uh oh. Mantis men.
Thank you. Let me heal for a little bit, please. Oh no, teleporting McGee's! They're back! I was about to say, where is the last one? <laughs> oh, you, well, that was rude. <laughs> this guy seems vaguely familiar, but not by much. No, that, that must have been a new enemy. Take that, Teleporty McGee. Oh no, two of them at once. Okay, that's not fair. I don't interrupt you while you're healing. I appreciate that they occasionally give you these respites where you're allowed to heal. I feel like with my setup, I can kind of just spam the attack button a little bit. Was that the last enemy? Of course not. Wait, what? What? How am I su- Okay, well that's just not fair. What? Well, that's bizarre. how long the arena battles are. Yeah, the arena battles last like 10 minutes longer than they should. Like, what the heck? Hmm. Alright. Gotta think a little smarter this time. What could be useful? I mean, Kane's soul would be good, for sure. But... I don't know if I want to equip Kane's soul. If anything, I would want Quick Focus. Quick Focus would probably be pretty nice. Maybe I use that instead of Quick Slash, because I feel like a lot of the enemies kind of teleported around, and Quick Slash wasn't as good as it could have been, so I like Quick Focus. Let's try this. Let's see if this ends up doing better. Maybe he's here in spirit. Oh, and before we go... Wanna go in full soul? That's a gotta. Yeah, they definitely make these arena battles way too long. It takes like 30 minutes to go for a single one. And if you fail at the end, it's like, well, you just sank 30 minutes.
Nobody would laugh at Super Grover, right? Hey. You guys are just jealous that I'm cooler than you. I also hate how the enemies can just spawn on top of me. Doggone it! Stupid spikes. Again, don't know why my ex-wife's icon keeps popping up on screen. I thought it was every time you kill a new enemy it popped up, but I've already killed those guys before. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, these are the guys I don't think Quick Slash are gonna be is gonna be useful against. I was gonna say those guys will be harder without Quick Slash, and then I killed one quicker than I did with Quick Slash.
Yeah, take that. to deal with this guy though. Hey Shadow Dash, do you not exist anymore or what? Dash through him. That wasn't very good. I don't know why the Shadow Dash was just not working. Why do I come to the arena? The annoying part about this is that you can't heal during the, during this part of the arena because you're in the air. Honestly, I love the way the combatants move. bodies, the sweat, the... Come on! Please be over. Please. Of course not. Hey, this guy is about to die. Let's spawn enemies on top of him. Was he not dead? I hit him three times. Oh, I am. Um... This is BS. Yeah, the arena sucks. How does anyone take any enjoyment out of the arena? It's like let's put you against eight thousand enemies, and all at once. And if you die, you have to do them all again. Why do I come to the arena? If you you can make arenas this long if you give checkpoints in the middle. Not you cannot make them this long if you don't have checkpoints. And I feel like the arena is organized in such a way that, like, you have to play through it five times or more just to learn all the enemy patterns and what to expect. I better get a really good prize for this arena battle. There also better not be another one after this. Because I'm basically going at this with max equipment. I have basically every badge in the game. I have almost all the heart containers. Or the Hollow Knight equivalent of heart containers. I'm only missing, like, one nail upgrade. Honestly, I love the way the combatants move. Yeah, how do you like that? 
Oh look, it the the course literally knocked me to the side just to spawn an enemy on me. Oh, I am. <laughs> and here comes the gauntlet from hell. Okay, really? The bodies, the sweat, the... Oh, I am... <laughs> this is very dumb. There better be a badge for beating this arena challenge, or the final piece of pale ore. Both would be good prizes. It better not just be like, here's a little bit of Geo. Or even, here's a lot of Geo. That would also be a sucky prize. If it was the sole prize. Have I mentioned that the arena battles are trash? Because they really are. Why do I come to the arena? Especially how the air enemies can literally just be like, you can't hit me, I'm too high up. I don't like how those guys can still throw their projectiles even after they die. I love the way the combatants move. So much for the nail arts. They the nail arts suck so much. It takes forever to charge them up. They ha and they don't do like any more damage than an, a normal nail swipe. Oh. sucks. Remember, I'm not necessarily going to get 100% in this game. The only thing I'm doing is I'm going to play the game until I stop having fun. I love the way the combatants move. I'm sorry, did I kill him and then he teleported afterwards? Like, right there. In this tiny little arena, you've got three super tough enemies. One on each side, one above you. There's no way of getting through that without taking a hit. Okay, I guess that's one thing that the charge shot comes in handy for. The bodies, the sweat, the... Nope, I'm done. This is so stupid. Oh, I am. <laughs> yeah, the, the arena's one of those things that's just... If you're done, the arena is objectively garbage. They go... They, I should have won that arena fight, like way long ago, but no, it just keeps going on and on and on. Well, no, I've had enough of that. I play games to have fun, and that's just objectively not fun. You know what else is not fun? Navigating this badge screen. It is exceed. Okay, I am hovering on this. You would expect if I moved down, it would move just slight down and slightly to the right. No, it moves down and hardcore to the left. It, it's very strange. What else do I want? I do like Quick Slash. That's a fun one. Yeah, I think the arena is one of those places that we're just we're not completing. That's mainly for if I get really ticked off, not mildly frustrated. Alright, cool. Let's head to the Ancient Basin and actually do something worth doing. I could continue the Zote fights, but I also... 
If I can't find anything in the ancient basin, that is what I probably will be doing. Oh good, we're next to a stag station as well. I can't believe, even with the power charm, that still we didn't beat the arena. Here we go, Stag Station. So it's down in the ancient basin. Really? So looking at the map, I don't think there's anything here in the ancient basin that we missed. Just based on how the map looks. There's not any obvious dead ends. So, hmm. Hi, Marty. Yeah, the arena in this game is trash, so we're not playing it. Like, Kingdom Hearts has an arena as well, and it also gets long, but at least for the really long arena battles, they give you checkpoints every ten fights. Which is kind of like, that's that's a good amount of checkpoints. Alright, do we want to go up? Probably, there's probably a random house somewhere, and it's hidden in the house, and the houses don't appear on the map. Oh, Marty, it the Kingdom Hearts Arena is an absolute cakewalk compared to the Hollow Knight one. The Hollow Knight one, like, I still don't know when it ends. I literally played through, like, a hundred fights for a solid 20 minutes in one round, and it still didn't end. Oh, you're playing 999. Interesting. I've heard good things. I have not played it. Wait. I can't tell if that was like, oh, it's a secret. No, it's not a secret in the wall. It's just like, oh, it crumbled once just for decorative purposes. Right. It wouldn't be in the catacombs where the lost kin was. Can you maybe give me a hint on where in the Ancient Basin it would be? Because I'm really at a loss for where to even start looking. Link played it, I did not. It's not near Lostkin. Cool. I didn't want to go back there. I already had to go back there once. Honestly, I feel like at this point, with all of my equipment that I have, Lost Kin would probably... I don't want to say a cakewalk, but... Lost Kin would probably be a lot easier than he was to begin with. I could not get into Hotel Dusk. I just couldn't.
Wait, why can I one-shot the shotgun bugs out here, but not in the arena? Um, there's this giant door here, for no reason. Oh, I mean, oh, I guess that's the door that the tram goes through. Had I really- what? But this area's on the map, and I've been here before. I'm very confused. I've literally been here before. So I could have gotten the final nail upgrade, like, ages ago. <laughs> I do get it. The Ace Attorney playthroughs are my favorite Let's Plays that I have done. Just period. Which is a shame, because they don't get very many views. That's the case. What's the quickest way back to... That elevator shaft is a little annoying to go through, so I think we'll head back to the stack station. I have played every single Ace Attorney game outside of the Japan-exclusive uh, Great Ace Attorney series. I feel like our April Fool's Let's Plays have been a little hit or miss. So, like, our Candyland and Let's Make a Word Let's Plays I thought were great. Our Mario Strikers one I thought was kind of bad. I also have mixed feelings about my Pooh Preschool playthrough. It should not have as many views as it does. I always keep going back to this city. Duh. How did the Winnie the Pooh Preschool video get so many? Because I titled it Hardest Game Ever Made Winnie the Pooh Preschool. And that is it. It's because I actually used clickbait in the title. My most viewed videos aren't the ones that I think should be the most viewed. It's like, my most viewed video of all is my first Backyard Baseball stream, which sucks. Like, don't watch that one. Watch literal, watch literally any other Backyard Baseball stream but that one. But no, they keep watching that one. But then again, I'm of the opinion that, like, most of the early stuff I made kind of stinks. Uh. 
Uh, oh, you've returned. I see some pearl ore. Oh no, I freaking need more. I need to grind up Geo. I guess there's nothing inherently terrible about it, but it's just not very good. It's not really funny or entertaining compared to the other ones. And in that stream VOD, the stream crashed multiple times, and I didn't even have the recording afterwards. So there's just so many unceremonious cuts in that one. Okay, wait. Do I have something that I can sell the dude? I do. I Well, that's not going to make up the difference, but... Wait, no. Go back down. We have one Wanderer's Journal we can sell. Oh boy, 200 Geo. That's not even close to what I need. Oh, it's amazing how many of these you found. I can dash past the big so 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 <laughs> soldiers with sharp shadow for a what? Oh, no, I don't want to go in here, actually. Good to know we spent most of this stream accomplishing nothing. My favorite. Fifty Geo a pop is definitely not bad. We can also up that geo intake if we equip the uh, greedy one, the uh, fragile greed. That's right, this is the ruined stag station. I wouldn't want to be here. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna say our Apollo Justice Let's Play was weak for Ace Attorney, but I, there are definitely better Ace Attorney Let's Plays that we've done. Oh, uh, okay. One last thing we're gonna do before we end the stream. I'm gonna attempt the next Zote fight. Keyword being attempt. No promises. Well, Pajama Sam One is pretty great. We definitely want Unbreakable Strength. Oh, we, we want Quick Slash. We also want the Low Health Fane. And what else do we normally get? Balder Shell? Balder Shell could be useful. So could the... Uh... Hmm... Wait a second. How is that one different from... How is the Lifeblood Heart any different from the Unbreakable Heart? They seem to be identical. Yes, I am aware of that fact about the Pajama Sam voice actress. Uh, what else was we gonna do? We can do Grub Stall and Heaven... Nah. Oh, Lone Nail. That's right. We want the extra reach. Alright. I was going to say this better be the last Zote battle, but something tells me this is not the last Zote battle. 
Something tells me that the Zote battles really just will never end. Because Zote is that full of himself. Alright, so our goal is to get down to 1 HP and then just murder him. Sensual, mysterious, enchanted, vigorous. <laughs> Great Prince Zote. And we're already dead. Yeah, he can kill us in two hits. Thankfully, he's not learning any new moves. So once we get the right strategy down and everything in muscle memory... Good night, DX. We will be ending the stream very shortly. I at least want to attempt him a couple times. Rats. No spoilers unless I ask you for it. There's only room for two more adjectives after this. Forgot about that move. Yeah, the last door didn't do a whole lot, because... Man, I thought Geo was worthless, and then that stupid lady made me pay her like 200,000 just to get the power upgrade. think I was in his range, no. What's annoying is we have to heal two or three times after getting hit once in order to get to the point where we can be at 1 HP. Once we're at 1 HP, we'll be doing any even more damage. He's only this buff in his girlfriend's dream, and I don't know why this is still happening, because his girlfriend's not even here anymore. I think, I, I think at this level, Zod probably is harder than the Lost Kin, but because I'm better equipped at this point, I'm not having as hard of a time with him as Lost Kin. Yeah, again, like, I feel like the developers just were like, we have to make this game have as much stuff as possible. It's like, you could have toned back on this to make it more enjoyable. No! We must have 18,000 Zod fights that are all exactly the same. the same, because the, the previous Zode fight, I beat it on the first try. I don't understand where if I jump once, barely, I make it over that, but if I double jump, I don't. I 
I think what they should have done is you fight Zote in the story and he's easy. Then there is one dream fight where maybe it's like, I don't know, the second or third of the dream Zote fights that we had here. As opposed to, we'll fight him in story mode, then have like literally 20 different Zote battles. And by different, we mean it's exactly the same. It's just he gets more damage output each time. You are not supposed to be able to run that far. Also, there are some parts where I feel like he just moves so fast you can't react in time. You just have to guess. deals four damage. No, he deals five damage. They just overdid the amount of fights. I don't know why... The, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to put in, like, 20 identical fights. Or, like, even the idea of, like, going in and fighting Dream Zone multiple times to, like, weaken the girl's opinion of him each time. I guess it's kind of clever if you actually made it, like, different and different kind of challenging each time. But no, you, you're you just copying and pasting the same boss over and over again. Alright, we flash in red now. Oh, what? I was not in his range, though. Darn it. He was probably really close to death as well. Okay, I think I, I, think I, I should be able to do this. Darn, I thought for sure I was out of his range, but apparently not. He does make that shockwave that extends it ever so slightly. Mario! So we actually have to heal three times after taking damage. Darn it, like, yeah, he falls at such a fast rate, you literally just have to guess which direction he's going to ha happen to land in. Because there's, like, a quarter of a second between the time he, like, appears at the top of the screen and the time he lands on the ground. And then he sends shockwaves in both directions, so you you get no time to react. So if if you dash in a direction and he happens to land really far in that direction, then you are dead. It was a fine attack back when he only dealt one damage. Times. Darn it. I don't think he should be allowed to be this fast and this powerful at the same time. Why can't all the bonus bosses be like Nightmare Grim? Nightmare Grim was, like, the best bonus boss by far. He was ridiculously difficult, but he was the right kind of difficult, and he was one and done. 
I'm gonna end soon. I just, I'm sure I can beat Zote this stream. At least this Zote battle. I came really close. Also, how come Zote doesn't get blown up by his own bombs? He literally runs through an explosion. Maybe in the YouTube battle ball, I'll just cut out the entire arena because it was that trash. I'm streaming until I beat this guy or decide it's not worth it. You're lousy. That better have been directed at Zote and not me. I didn't say either. I don't know what you're hearing, but it was not my voice. Like right there, how would I, how was how was I supposed to dodge that? I couldn't jump in time because there was explosions. You did not. You are mistaken. If I don't beat him within the next three battles, we are ending the stream. You gotta start healing, like, as soon as you knock him down if you want to get in free heals at normal speed before he attacks you. Have I played Star Stardew Valley? I played it for, like, a half hour with Link. I could not get into it. If I want to play a farming simulator, I'm playing Harvest Moon 64. The OG. <laughs>
No. Uh. Oh, you no! Oh, come on. I knocked him out, which made him go farther up. Even though I hit him downwards, so physically he should have been knocked to the ground. That's very stupid. Or actually, if I did a farming simulator, it would be Harvestman 64 or the Story of Seasons remake, which I have for Switch. The Friends of Mineral Town remake. Shoot, that's actually really bad. There we go. Wait. What happened? I got hit by him, but then I died after... I know I said three times, but I got robbed that time. I should not have died there. I had enough HP to survive one of his hits, and yet I died anyways. Oh wait, that's the key! Hang on, I just realized! That's the key! You get hit by Zote once, and then you get hit by one of his, like, little Zote bugs, and that will knock you into the... Okay, we got this, we got this. I know I said it just one more time, but no, 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 I got the strategy now. Oh, I see. His little bugs deal two damage now. They used to deal one. That's why I died the pre. Okay. All right. Good night, Marty. I w I prompt. If I'm not done in ten minutes, if I'm not done in ten minutes, we are ending the stream. We're ending the stream at ten, no matter what. To me, it also doesn't make any sense why he's getting more powerful the more we destroy his dreams. Like, he definitely should be getting weaker. Again, there is no pressure for anyone to join the streams. There's also no pressure for anybody to chat in the streams either. You can lurk. That is perfectly fine. Now make one of your bugs. No! Make one of your bugs! When we get... I am sure we eventually get to the point in the Zote battles where he just kills you in one hit. It would be extraordinarily, unbelievably, incredibly stupid if the fights go on to the point where he get, can kill you in one hit. But I... 
At this point, I just I already, I freaking already know. Like. I wanted to get hit by the bug, not his stupid shockwaves. I feel like maybe they could have thought of more stuff for the bonus content in this. Like, I'm just ima imagine if the Cuphead DLC was literally just one fight that you had to do seven times. It would be so stupid. Everybody would call them out for it. Why is Hollow Knight getting a pass for it? Which is better? Hollow Knight or the Cuphead DLC? Well, that's not really a fair comparison. One of them is just an addition to a game, and the other is a like full-on game. If you were to... I mean... It, between the two, Hollow Knight, I would say, would be better, just because it's a full-on game. But if you're asking me what's better, Hollow Knight or Cuphead, Cuphead is better. No, rats. Which had harder boss fights? Hard to say, because again, Cuphead is an entire game with a wide variety of fights. Some of the fights in Hollow Knight have been very easy. Some of them have been brutally hard. Some of the fights in the Cuphead DLC were not too bad. Some of them were brutally hard. Darn it. This is not Cuphead. You can't jump out of a dash. Which is kind of dumb. I thoroughly enjoyed most of Hollow Knight, but I gotta say, the post-game is not great. Again, Nightmare Grim was amazing. Please just disintegrate and not reappear again. Because this is getting very you know old. What's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. No, of you course, of course feeling. he still has another phase. Gosh, that is trash.
Alright, next time on Hollow Knight, hopefully we actually can find the birthing place, because if... Well, if, Pro if Proxima's not here next week... Again, there's never any pressure for anyone to join. If Proxima is able to make it next week, I will enlist his help to put nudge me in the right direction to the birthing place. If he doesn't show up, then maybe I'll look it up. I have no problem with that. I think that's what our current plan is going to be. Because to be honest, I don't want to do the arena anymore. I don't really want to fight Zoat anymore. I will attempt him again, but like... Again, it really just seems like there's never going to be any end. Like, I feel like we could get to the point where he kills us in one hit and doesn't get any harder, and it's still not going to freaking end. Which is very, very dumb. Oh, we want Gathering Swarm, we want Fragile Greed, because we're going to be grinding up some Geo next week as well. I could also grind up on Geo offline, but nah. I bet people would want to watch it anyways, for some reason. Alright. Well... That's it for Hollow Knight for today. Wish that could have been a bit more productive, but next time we will get that final nail upgrade and hopefully find the birthing place. And there's also apparently one final small key or simple block to open up somewhere, so... hope I think that'll probably be it. Maybe not, but that'll probably be it. Next week? Oh, did I say next week? I'm sorry, I meant next time. Two days from now, Wednesday. I, I stream on Wednesday. The, this this Wednesday stream is not canceled. I misspoke. Thank you for catching that. No. The, the Wednesday, we will hopefully finish some stuff up and make some more progress, because even though I set the warp point near the arena again, I really don't want... I'm not going back to the arena unless I get enough upgrades to the point where I'm like, okay, I think I can do it. Like, if that final nail upgrade allows me to kill most of the enemies in, like, one hit, maybe I would try it again. If not, though, then I think we can forget it, kid. So, <laughs> thanks for joining in, everybody. It was nice chatting with you all. I wish you a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone. Why do I come to the arena?